the three traitors the three traitors the first one that probably has come to your mind already is that of Judas we find the account in Matthew chapter 26 in the upper room where before Jesus could dip his bread in the cup he says one of you will betray will betray me uh, and then Jesus goes on to identify Judas as the betrayer because first the disciples say is it I is it I now it's surely not me etc and Jesus identifies Judas as the betrayer in the upper room so Judas is an example of an outright betrayer he sought out the chief priests for a bribe and sold his savior later on too little too late he does declare the Lord Jesus to be innocent he says he is innocent I've betrayed innocent blood he flung the money back at their feet <clears throat> he goes out and takes his own life what a sad and tragic ending and think about this Judas forever lost his place among the 12 apostles for all eternity forever for what for a measly 30 pieces of silver but if we are honest with ourselves many of us have betrayed the Lord Jesus not once many a time and often dare I say for a lot less than 30 pieces of silver let's thank God that his mercy endures forever if we will return to him for forgiveness so that's the first traitor the second traitor or type of traitor and we're not sharing this to demean people because at the end of the day this applies to each one of us you and I Peter the Apostle again in the same Matthew 26 where the Lord Jesus identifies Judas as betrayer as his betrayer Peter is the one who says I will not deny you Lord anybody else may but not me so it's the same chapter Matthew 26 uh, Peter's bold proclamation that he will never deny Jesus and the Lord then tells Peter before the rooster crows you're going to deny me three times you're going to act like you didn't even know me Peter Peter is a type of the inadvertent betrayer like most of us who fall into this category no I wouldn't betray my Lord but when up against the pressure unexpected unexpectedly he denies his Lord three times he was so sure he wouldn't Peter didn't think he would just like you and I he said he wouldn't in front of the Lord and the Apostles other other eleven but he denied Jesus in the end anyway his betrayal hear this Peter's betrayal of the Lord was to save his own skin right there in the courtyard where the Lord was being tried if Peter had admitted that he was one of the twelve they would have arrested him on the spot he denied Christ to save his own skin this was spontaneous and it was unexpected when up against the rub against the pressure he denied Christ like most of us if we will be totally honest now we do know this was before the Lord just before the Lord has been crucified and risen but after the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2 when the 120 and all the Apostles had been baptized in the Holy Spirit they were now filled with a holy boldness and we know that 3,000 souls got saved in Acts chapter 3 and chapter 4 we read they even rejoiced in persecution so we see that time and again in the New Testament so those of us who know Jesus who've been washed in the blood of Jesus from all our sin who are born again who are his sons and daughters who have received the Spirit of God dwelling in us also we have far less excuse or reason to deny our Lord today so we've seen two traitors in the Bible Judas the overt in your face betrayer traitor Peter the inadvertent when 
up against the pressure, he denies the Lord Jesus. He even cursed and swore. The third traitor, I know you're waiting. Who is this? Answer, you and me. You and I. How many times have we betrayed our Lord? How many times have we been silent when we've had the opportunity to share about Christ? How many times have we been ashamed to pray or lead out in prayer when asked? How many times have, been be have we been ashamed to testify when the opportunity presented itself and we have let precious souls run through our fingers? How many times have we turned our backs on the Lord when we have been tempted and yielded to that temptation? It's been so many times, allow me to speak for myself, so many times I cannot even remember. I remember one time I had a golden opportunity to share Christ with this person and I failed to do so. Oh, how I was repenting before God numerous times. Lord, forgive me. Forgive me. I'm, I may never have that opportunity with this person again. How many times, dear friend, have you and I let our Lord down by letting these opportunities to share Christ with precious lost souls slip through our fingers? So many times. So the question is, how many more times? How much longer will we go on? I, I, I just mentioned these. How, my, how many more times are we going to be lying, stealing, cheating, or even, you say, I don't do those things anymore, Brother Andrew, even thinking or dwelling on things that are not Christ-honoring. Lord, cleanse my heart. May we cry out to God, to draw us into a closer, more intimate relationship with him than ever before. So intimate with Jesus that we would fear to hurt our Lord again. May we practice his presence with us at all times and no more play the traitor. Yes, it can be done by the indwelling enabling power of the Holy Spirit. And so this is the three traitors. God bless you.